Well, because I publish this magazine, I'm actually going to cover it for the magazine. Part of the things I do in the magazine is uh, do reports where I try and digest very long, complicated, either government or environmental group uh, analysis or reports. Um, and sometimes I'll try and digest an entire conference. So one of the things I'll do is publish a report on this conference for the next issue of the magazine. It's always very important to, to hear what other people are saying. I mean, you can read it, but you really kind of have to be there with people and, and the informal exchanges that take place in between sessions, in the evenings and in the morning, uh, I think are very useful for networking and finding out who are people that you can come back to, uh, who are people that for you make sense uh, and, and seem to be particularly useful. Um, and sometimes the writing you get is not necessarily uh, helpful for that. And so it's very useful to just kind of meet people personally. I think that's always a critical element of finding out about what's going on in environmental matters in Ireland. How much time do we have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's not going to be answerable. Uh, I mean, I think, uh, obviously, I'm, I produced a magazine because I thought that was necessary uh, to try and make the information as available to people as possible and to make it accessible. And I think one of the great things about the uh, Earth Institute is Frank Convery's involvement with it. And Frank has always had a real gift at being able to communicate fairly complicated scientific principles and developments in very uh, direct language. He's a terrific writer, and I think that's one of the great values of the Earth Institute, is that quality. I taught college English for 15 years before I went into law and before I went into the magazine, so I believe in education. Uh, I think it's fairly straightforward that it really needs to be an informed public. Uh, that, that makes the decisions about what's going to happen in the future and an uninformed uh, public uh, as we have in America and in many places is quite dangerous. Well, uh, Frank McDonald, the uh, uh, environmental editor for the Irish Times, has always defined that under the former government of the Fianna Foyle, sustainable development was development which had to be sustained. Um, so I think there's that natural competition between economic development and protection of natural resources, and certainly these days because of the economic crisis, um, the economic issues are driving uh, planning issues and, and other matters, uh, and that's really impinging on some of the previous protections we've had for natural resources, and, and that really needs to be kind of addressed and, and corrected. Uh, vote for different people, uh, that's one way of doing it. Uh, and, and it's a very critical way of doing it. Um, otherwise, just get out and start talking with people. And I mean, one of the things we talk about climate change these days is how do you talk about climate change? Uh, well, however we've been doing it in the past hasn't been working. So we need to find different ways of talking about climate change to inform people uh, about what's the, the, the dangers of the future. Well, I think the, the, the global negotiations are, are very Stay uh, stalled. I don't. I don't really. I don't think there's a lot of optimism there, and I think the American uh, kind of reactionary position is not helping that. Um, but the European Union certainly has been driving environmental protection efforts in the Republic of Ireland uh, and now in Northern Ireland in ways that just never would have happened without the European Union influence. Uh, certainly, the money being given to that and the and the directives and the European Habitat directives and the uh, and the other ones are really uh, helping to push the Irish government uh, in directions that otherwise would not have gone. The most important factor of helping climate change, uh, voting for different people. <laughs>